Hello. With the increasing demand for more stable and secure products, Microsoft has announced the Windows 2012 and Windows 2012 R2 OS versions to be reaching their end of support on October of 10th, 2023. To ensure that your existing products and infrastructure are not affected by this change, we can follow one of two paths, either migrate to a later version of Windows or do a complete in-place upgrade. In today's video, we will be making an in-place upgrade rather than a migration. You will need to make sure that the Windows instance in question has Windows 2012 or Windows 2012 R2 installed and that the network drivers on it are up to date. You can do this by navigating to your Windows EC2 instance and running appwiz.cpi. Next, you need to make sure that you have at least 10 GB space available in your C drive. Since we do not have this, we will go ahead and resize our Windows C drive. To modify the C drive, navigate to your Windows EC2 instance, go to storage, scroll down and click on the volume ID. Click on modify volume and edit the value to your desired number. Wait for some time so that the changes take effect and then reconnect to your server. Once the changes have been made through the AWS console, we need to make sure the same changes are made on the server. Log into your Windows Server through RDP by entering your password. Once logged in, open Windows File Explorer, right click on this PC and select Manage. This will open the Server Manager. Open File and Storage Services. Click on Disks Next. Click anywhere on the empty space and select Rescan Storage. Confirm Yes to Rescan Storage. Wait for the rescan to be completed. Under Volumes, right click on the C drive and select Extend Volume. Wait for some time. This should complete your extent. Navigate to your file explorer and check if the extent has been completed. Before we go any further, let us keep a note of our prerequisites. The following files are present on the server. A text for Apple and an image for the same. The instance ID is i-09a and the availability zone is US East 1C. Since we are upgrading from Windows Server 2012 R2 to Windows Server 2016, we will remove the EC2 config service and replace it with EC2 launch. We will also need to install the Amazon SSM agent. First, we will uninstall the EC2 config service. This will uninstall SSM agent as well. Uh, let us then remove the residual folders for both these services from a C drive, from program files and from program data. If the program data is not visible, make sure you enable hidden files. Once done, we will download the EC2 launch service by downloading its installer from our public documentation and then installing it on the server. Downloaded and ready to go. Let's run the installer in Windows PowerShell. Okay, so once this is installed, we will download the SSM agent and run it on our instance. Make sure you download the latest version from the public documentation. I will link it to this video. Once the installation completes, close all the tabs running on your server and navigate back to your AWS EC2 console. We shall create a new volume from the Windows Server 2016 installation media snapshot. To do so, in the navigation pane, choose Snapshots, Public Snapshots. Add the description filter and then choose Windows 2016 in English installation media. Select the checkbox for the option available, choose Actions and select Create Volume from Snapshot. In the new window that opens, select the availability zones as the one your EC2 instance is hosted on. In our case, it is US East 1C. Let the other options be as is and click the create volume button. Now select the volume that you have created, click on actions and select attach volume. Enter the instance ID and then choose attach. 
wait for some time and then log into your windows ec2 instance and bring the attached disk online you can do so by going to disk mgmt.msc right clicking on the offline disk available and then selecting online Begin the upgrade process by opening the installation media volume using Windows PowerShell that you had previously attached to the instance. Once in the correct directory, run the command dot slash setup dot exe slash auto upgrade. The Windows upgrade process begins. Make sure you select the last option available that is Windows Server 2016 data center desktop experience when the option pops up. Click on next and wait for the upgrade to complete. Click on the necessary options, the ones that are default available to complete the installation process. While the upgrade is in process, the server will restart multiple times and you will not be able to access the Windows server at all. This may take anywhere between 40 minutes to a few hours. To check if the upgrade is complete or how far along is it, you can navigate to your EC2 instance, select the instance, click on actions, monitor and troubleshoot and then select get instance screenshot or get system log. This will help you assess how far along the upgrade process is complete it has been a few minutes since the upgrade process has been started uh, let's recheck we shall wait for a few more minutes until the installation process is completed if you see closely on the desktop the windows version shows windows 2012 but if you go to system settings and check the configuration you will find windows 2016 so we have successfully upgraded our windows server from 2012 to 2016 congratulations if you have any questions you can always reach out to me thank you for watching this demonstration hope you have a good day